نسلی على رسوله الكريم اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولقد ارسلنا نوحا وابراهيم وجعلنا في ذريتهما النبوه والكتاب فمنهم مهتد وكثير منهم فاسقون الى اخر السوره صدق الله العظيم we have read 25 ayat of surah al hadid first six ayat refer to the person and attributes of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the highest academic level then two demands amenu anfiqu then why do you not have faith a rebuke if you feel actually you don't have the real faith turn to quran second rebuke why don't you spend for the cause of allah and in that if the conditions are bad there is no hope for the establishment of the deen of allah still you spend for the deen of allah your energies your life your time and your belongings you will have greater regard than those who will be doing it after the attainment of victory then what is the objective of it and that is to establish the system of justice on earth given by allah subhanahu wa taala and for that a stage might come when you have to go to the battlefield but that is the last stage for that first of all there should be some propagation of the ideology then who whosoever accept it organize them train them and when this process reaches a certain level then only you can challenge the system but the final point has been mentioned laqad arsalna rusulana bil bayyinat wa anzalna ma'ahum al kitaba wal mizana li yaqum an nas bil qist the same thing as we read in surah al shura wa umirtu li a'dila bainakum i have been sent to establish justice among you I am not a soothsayer or a sermon sayer or a poet or a storyteller. Nothing of this sort. I have been sent to establish justice. So this is the essence. Now there is a mistake also. When you are told that this life is nothing, real life is of akhirah, of the hereafter, then sometimes there is a tendency for what we call. Ascetism, rahbaniyat, leave this world. Why marrying? Why having family life? Why bothering for all these things? Go to some caves or somewhere else, solitary places. Just remember your Lord. Have tried to have a communion with Him, but this is wrong. Islam says you don't love this world. But we have to change this world. Live here, change it. You have to be an activist, not a passive rahib, an ascetic, passive ascetic, sitting aside, sitting aside from the world. He doesn't care whether there are injustices being done over here, oppressions are being done over here. No, he doesn't care. He is there in his monastery or something else, sitting over there. No, no, no. This is not Islam. So this actually was a mistake committed by the followers of one of the Ulul Azm min al Rasul, and that was Hazrat Musi alayhi salatu wasalam. People who came to believe in him, they twisted their religion towards Rahbaniyat, ascetism. So this mistake is pointed out here in the remaining four ayat of this surah. And for that purpose, Allah starts with Nuh, wa laqad arsalna Nuhan wa Ibrahima, and with And verily, we sent Nuh and Ibrahim 
وجالنا في ضروریت ہمن نبوت اول کتاب and we placed our our prophethood and the book in the progeny of Nuh and Ibrahim فَمِنْهُمْ مُقْتَصِدْ out of the progeny of the two there are who are rightly guided وَكَسِيرٌ مِنْهُمْ فَاسِقُونَ but most of them are transgressors now summa qaffayna ala asarihim bi rasulina then we meet our messengers to follow in their footsteps wa qaffayna bi isa ibn maryam and we made isa son of maryam to follow wa jalna fi qulub allazeena tabauhu rafatan wa rahma wa atainahu al-injil and we gave isa injil the gospel and we placed in the hearts of those who followed him tenderness and mercy and compassion this was a special condition you know of the hawariyin of hazrat masih alaihi salatu wassalam wa rahbaniyata nibtadauha but monasticism and ascetism was something which they invented ma katabnaha alayhim we have not made it compulsory on them this was their decision this was the wrong turn they took kutuk illa tighar is one illa we had only made it compulsory for them to seek the pleasure of allah subhanahu wa taala but then when we, they adopted ascetism fama rauha haqqari ayatiha then they could not observe it with the due observance fa atan allazina amanu minhum ajrahum so we gave to those of among them who had real faith and belief and who came to believe in muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that can also be meant over here to them we gave their reward wa kaseerun minhum fasiqun but most of them are also transgressors so this is to, to point out this wrong term don't love this world but live in it try to fashion it on the right path take it to the justice system of justice and establish the deen of allah over here this is the test of your faith and your iman in allah subhanahu wa taala ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu taqullaha wa aminu bi rasulihi yutikum kiflan min rahmatihi oh you who profess to believe believe in allah have fear of allah and believe in his messenger what does it mean the real conviction that the model for us is the person of muhammad we have to follow him he was not an ascetic he didn't start a monastic type of system no he fought for the cause of allah he was an activist he challenged falsehood he took his men to the battlefield led them to the battlefield so you have to follow him see how during the makki period he propagated his ideas then those who accepted iman organized them trained them with the permanent order the no retaliation whatever persecution comes to you verbal or physical you don't you have to take it patiently without any retaliation but then when he thought he has now enough strength with him he challenged the falsehood the system the ascendancy of quraish he fought them and then he established the deen of allah in the arabian peninsula so this is the model don't follow any other model you have not to follow the model of jesus no model for you is muhammad laqad kana lakum fi rasulillah uswatun hasana jesus had his own methodology but you have to follow muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam you are the ummah of muhammad so here you know ittaqullah wa aminu bi rasulihi emphasis on iman on the messenger ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu ittaqullah wa aminu bi rasulihi yutikum kiflan min rahmatihi allah will give you two fold from his mercy wa yaj'al lakum nuran tamshuna bihi and then he will give you the light with which you will be able to walk to walk in this world also you need a light guidance and to cross that bridge of as-sirat on the day of judgment you will be needing a light 
اللہ ول گیو یو وہ یقفر لکم وٹ ایور شارٹ کمنگس اللہ ول فار گیو دم و اللہ غفور الرحیم ویریلی اللہ از فار گیونگ مرسیفل لے اللہ عالم اہل الکتاب اللہ یقدرون علی شعین من فضل اللہ سو دیٹ دی پیپل آف دی بک شوڈ ناٹ تھنک دیٹ دے ہیو ناؤ نو ایکسس اوور دی باؤنٹی آف اللہ دے ہیو دی ایکسس دے کین ایون ناؤ بلیو ان محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کم آمنو بھی رسول ہی یو بلیو ان موسا یو بلیو ان ابراہیم اینڈ سو آن اینڈ سو فورتھ کم اینڈ بلیو ان محمد آلسو So all the fuzzle, you know, the gates of fuzzle, you know, will, they will be opened. As we read in Surah Bani Israel, Your Lord is ready to have mercy upon you even now. Go you under the shelter of the messengerhood of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The gates are open. لِأَلَّا يَكُونَ عَلُوا الْكَتَابِ أَلَّا يَقْدِرُونَ عَلَى شَيْنِ مِنْ فَضْلِ اللَّهِ وَأَنَّ الْفَضْلَ بِيَدِ اللَّهِ يُتِيَ مَنْ يَشَاء The bounty is in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's his prerogative. To whom he wants, he grants it. Wallahu zul fadil azim. And definitely Allah is of infinite bounty. Now we come to Suratul Mujadala. The first four ayat of Suratul Mujadala, they discuss a particular issue of family laws. But the rest of the 18 ayat, they give us a picture of two parties. Party of Satan, party of Allah. As we have seen, when you know this dawah, this call to Allah, and the call to establish the system of justice given by Allah, when this dawah is given, there is bound to be a resistance. Then there will be a polarization in this society. Some people who come, accept the call, they are ready to devote their lives, even lay down their lives for the cause of establishing the deen of Allah. They are the party of Allah. Ulaika Hizbullah. They are the party of Allah. And there are those who oppose it to the nail. Even they sacrifice their lives to, pro to protect their interests. But they are the party of shaitan. Ulaik ahizbu shaitan. Now this has to be identified. This struggle, this conflict. If we have a concept of mazhab, there is no conflict whatsoever. You go to your church, I am going to my mosque. That's all. He is going to the temple, he is going to the synagogue. Nothing. No argument. But regarding the system, a few people here are resenting these multinationals. What is happening? What happened in Seattle? Then at Davos. But these things are to happen. So when there is the question of system, it's a different matter. When only is a system of belief and a system of some modes of worship and some rites and rituals and some feasts, well, okay, you can have your, I can have mine. But this conflict, if you want to establish the deen of Allah, then there is going to be a conflict, no escape. So this surah mainly, but you know that his was shaitan consists of two types of people. One are who are openly opposed, the disbelievers, the rejectors of the faith. And there is the other element, the hypocrites, who are legally with the Muslims, with the Hezbollah, but they are the fifth columnist, fifth column. They look to the interest of the kuffar, working against the interest of Hezbollah. So this is very important surah regarding this. One thing must be clear here. This establishment of the deen of Allah is not possible without a party. 
individual could not do it. It's very simple, very logical. An individual can go on calling and calling and calling and calling, but he cannot establish the system of Allah without having a party. If he doesn't get a party, okay, he won't be able to establish. If there was no party available to Nuh alayhi salam, no harm to Nuh. The people were drowned. Muhammad got sallallahu alayhi wasallam a party. People who were ready to sacrifice their lives, to spend everything they had. So then there was the struggle, there was the conflict, which reached the level of armed conflict. The polarization became complete. Hezbollah versus Hezbo Shaitan. And then, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the help and the deen of Allah was established. But party is essential. So first of all, please note that if you have the concept of Islam as that of a deen, you must think that to strive to establish the deen of Allah is farz. Farz ain. It's a duty. It's obligatory. Not something additional. Not something optional. No. It's not like tahajjud. No. It's farz. Like the five prayers. Like the fasting of the month of Ramadan. Number one. And number two, this is the farz which cannot be fulfilled without a party. Just as you cannot pray without wuzu. Wuzu is not required in itself. The wuzu is the precondition, prerequisite for salah. Really what you want to do is salah, prayer. But for that, there is the precondition of wuzu. In the same way, the farz is to establish the deen of Allah, to try, strive your hardest to establish the deen of Allah on earth. But the prerequisite that you should be, you should be a part of a party, belong to a party. If there's no party, you stand up, call people towards you. They will join hands with you and it will be a party. If you are two, you have to pray in a jama'ah. One is amaab, the other is muqtadi. If there are two, you are a party. One is Amir, the other is Mamur. But not without a party. But when this party swells in numbers, and you know their commitment and depth of commitment reaches that level, and you know their determination to sacrifice everything reaches the, that level, required level, then there is a direct confrontation between Haq and Batil, between the truth and the falsehood, between the Hezbollah on one side and the Hezbollah Shaitan on the other. So this distinction between Hezbollah and Hezbollah Shaitan is the main axis of this Surah Mujadala. But in the first four ayat, as I told, there is a special family laws issue. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Qad sami' Allahu qal lati tujadiluka fi zawjiha wa tashtaki ila Allah. Verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala heard the words of that woman who pleads with you, O Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, concerning her husband and makes her plea to Allah. An incident took place. Aus ibn Sabit Ansari radiallahu anhu. He did zihar with his wife, Khawla bint Salaba. Zihar in the old Arab tradition was that if a husband said to his wife, you are to me like a mother or like the back of my mother. Now they are separated, divorced, and there can be no, you know, reunion again. That's whatsoever, no way. Complete, permanent separation. Now, in a fit of anger, Osim bin Sabit said this to his wife, Khala bin Salaba. They had children. Now Khala came to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. She was weeping, crying. What shall I do? What has this, my husband done? Where will these children go? How shall I support them? Weeping, crying. Oh Muhammad, find some way for me. And the Prophet said, I don't find any way. No revelation has come to me up till now. 
but then the revelation come and allah said laqad sami allah qala allati tujadiluka fi zawjiha o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam verily indeed allah has heard the words of that woman who was pleading with you o prophet concerning her husband and make also she was making pleas to allah o oh allah send some open some door for me o oh allah where can i go so allah said we have heard wallahu yasma'u tahawura kama and allah was hearing the conversation between you inna allah sami'un basir we really allah is all seer and hearer now comes the solution allazina yuzahiruna minkum min nisa'ihim those of you who say concerning their wives be as my mother's back ma hunna ummahatihim in ummahatuhum illa allah waladhum they are not their mothers their mothers are only those who gave birth to them wa innahum la yaquluna munkaram min alqaul and surely they are saying a very loathsome word wazura and a lie inna allah al afu al ghafur verily allah is pardoning forgiving والذين يظاهرون من نسائهم ثم يعودون لما قالوا as for those who do this jihad to their wives but then they want to take back فتحرير رقبة من قبل ان يتماسى so one slave has to be freed before the two of them touch one another this is the fine ذلكم توعظون به wallahu bima ta'maluna khabir this is to what you are exhorted by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and verily allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he knows and he is aware of what you are doing for man lam yajid whosoever cannot free a slave he doesn't have that much money with him to buy a slave and then free set him free fa siyam usharan mutatabi'in min qabl an yatamassa So now he has to keep fast for two months, consecutive months, before the two of them touch one another. For Malam Yastata, and if somebody is sick, ill, diabetic, for example, and he can't do it, for Malam Yastata, if he eats almost sixty na miskinan, then he should feed sixty indigent persons. Zalika le to minu billahi wa rasulhi, and this is so that you should know and be convinced. that you have the real faith in allah and his messenger wa tilka hududullah and these are the boundaries of allah subhanahu wa taala walil kafirin azabun alim and for the disbelievers there is a very painful chastisement now these are the four ayat which have a different issue altogether but now the issue connected with surah al hadid because these two surahs are on a pair now that conflict between haq and batil deen e haq and those who oppose it inna alladhina yuhaddun allah wa rasulahu verily those who oppose allah and his messenger yuhaddun is from hadid the same root had hadid yuhaddun yuhaddun bab mufala Inna ladina yuhadun Allah wa Rasulahu. Those who oppose to the nail, Allah and His Messenger. Kobe tu kama kobe tal ladina min qablehim. They will be humiliated, as were those humiliated who were before them. Fakadan zalna ayatim bayinat, and we have already sent down very clear revelations. Waril kafiri na zamu mohin, and for these these believers, there is going to be a humiliating chastisement. يوم يرسم الله جميعا فينبئهم بما عملوا. On the day when he Allah will raise them all together and then He will tell them what they have been doing. أَسَاهُ اللَّهُ Allah has Allah had kept a record of their deeds. وَنَسُوا They had forgotten. وَاللَّهُ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ شَهِيدٌ And verily Allah is a witness to everything. أَلَمْ تَرَى أَنَّ اللَّهَ يَعْلَمُ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ Don't you know? That Allah knows whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth. Ma yakunu min najwa salasati. Now this is the fifth columnist portion of the Muslim Ummah, the Munafiqun. They used to have, they used to have secret meetings, secret consultations, 
planning against the prophet against the muslims going to the jews and you know saying that we will be with you and so on and so forth so this secret counseling allah knows everything which is in the heaven and the earth ma yakunu min najwa salasatin illa huwa rabi'un there's no there's no where a secret consultation between three of them but the fourth is allah huwa ma'akum ana ma'kuntu wherever you are he is with you so you think we are three no you are four allah is there wala khamsatin illa wa sadisuhum and if they are five then allah is the sixth wala adna min zalika and no less than that wala aksara and not more than that illa huwa ma'hum ayna ma kanu but he is with them wherever they are now we had this ayat in surah al hadid huwa ma'kum ayna ma kuntum here only the pronoun has changed huwa ma'hum ayna ma kanu summa yunabbihuhum bima amilu yawm al qiyamah then on the day of judgment on the day of resurrection he will tell them what they had been doing in allah bi kulli shay'in alim verily allah knows everything alam tara ila alladhina nuhwa an najwa don't you consider those who were forbidden from these secret counselings this comes in surah an nisa also also at some other place but now this this ayat as i have told you they have they were revealed in the last period of the madani days summa yaudun lamanahu anhu but they are doing what they were prohibited to do وَيَتَنَاجَوْنَ بِالْإِسْمِ وَالْعُدْوَانِ وَمَعْصِيَةِ الرَّسُولِ And they are having secret consultations among themselves for sinning and enmity and disobedience to the messenger. وَإِذَا جَاوُكَ حَيَّوْكَ بِمَعْلَمْ يُحِيِّكَ بِهَا اللَّهِ And when they come to you, O Muhammad صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم, they salute you with what, with which Allah has not saluted you. The salutation in Islam is As-Salaamu Alaikum. These munafiqoon, when they used to come, they should say, "Assalamu alaikum, ya yon nabi." Assalam means death, death to you, O Messenger. Assalamu alaikum, assalamu alaikum, omitting the lam in between. If somebody said, "What have you said?" Oh, I said, "Assalamu alaikum." What has happened to your ears? Go and get the wax out of your ears. I said, "Assalamu alaikum," but this was their. method wa yaquluna fi anfusihim la la yu'azzibun Allah bima naqul and then they say in their hearts whatever we have said why is not Allah chastising us it means he is not the prophet of Allah had he been the prophet of Allah we have we have insulted him Allah should have chastised us immediately but he is not doing it it means he is not it proves it is he is not the messenger of Allah حَسْبُهُمْ جَهَنَّمْ يَسْلَوْنَهَا وَبِيسَ الْمَصْفَ بِيسَ الْمَصِيرِ For them, sufficient is the hell. And they will enter it. So, and it is a very bad and evil destination. يَا أَيُّوَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا إِذَا تَنَاجَيْتُمْ فَلَا تَتَنَاجُوَا بِالْإِسْمِ وَالْعُدْوَانِ وَمَاسِيَةِ الْرَسُولِ O you who believe, if you have ever to consult secretly, your secret consultation should be, not for sin or enmity or disobedience of the rasul wa tanajau bil birr wa taqwa do this consultation for virtue and piety wa taqullah allazi ilayhi tushrun and fear allah to whom you will be gathered anyhow inna man najwa min ash-shaitan this secret counseling party within party the hizbullah but they have a special group in that hizbullah so this is conspiring in the man najwa min ash-shaitan this najwa is actually from satan le yahzun alladhina amanu so that he those who believe they should be hurt wa laysa bi darrihim shay'an but he cannot do any harm to them illa bi iznillah but with the permission of allah subhanahu wa taala wa ala allah falyatawakkal almu'minun and verily in allah should all the believers put put their whole trust 
And you know when it was said, okay, the first hour will be jealous. Open the place between you. Why are you so much grouped together? So, for the believers, it was the commandment. Whenever it is said, make room in the assemblies. Do make it room. Allah will make room for you. Ya sahih Allahu lakum. By the akil al shudu, for shudu. And when it is said, stand, you should stand. When it is said, the, the assembly is dismissed. The parade is dismissed. Now you go. But they used to keep sitting over there and and continuing their you know mutual consultations. Fanshudu yar faillah ul ladin aamanu min kum ul ladin aoutul ilm darajat. Allah Taala would exalt those of you who believe and those who have been given the knowledge. Wallahu bima taamalu na khabir. And verily Allah Subhanahu wa Taala very well knows and is aware of what you are doing. Ya yu ul ladin aamanu ida tanaja ida naja tumu Rasool a fakdimu bena yada yad najwa kum sadaqa. Who you who believe? When you have to have a secret meeting with the Messenger of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, these Munafikin, because they were very wealthy people, to show off that we have a special position, they would say, "Ya Rasulullah, I want to say something to you in secrecy. So please give me time." Now, the other congregation thinks that he is very close to the Prophet, and Prophet listens to him. So now to put a check, this order came. When you have to, you want to have a secret and private meeting with the Messenger, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Fakadmu baina yada najwa kum sadaka. Give alms before your counselling. Give something to the poor before doing this. Zalikum khairul lakum waathar. This is much better for you and more purer. Fain lam tajdu fain Allah ghafur rahim. But if you are very poor, you don't have anything. Okay, Allah is. Forgiving and merciful. For the poor, there is no harm. But those rich munafiks, if they want to have a secret meeting and hearing with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they should give something in the way of Allah first and then come. Now those people they loved wealth like anything. Now they stopped. Ash faktu man to kadimu bana yada ya najwa kum sadaka. Have you become afraid of giving alms between your? Secret meeting with the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Faizlam tafalu when you didn't do it, but Taab Allahu alaykum. And Allah subhanahu wa taala has relented on you. Okay, He is, is giving the concession. But Taab alaykum for akimu salata. Now at least establish the salah properly. Waatu zakah and do pay zakah definitely. Waatiyu Allah wa Rasulahu and obey Allah and His Messenger. Wallahu khabiru bima taamalun. I verily and surely Allah is aware of what you are doing. Alam tera ila ladina tawalla qawman ghazib Allah walehi. Have you not considered those who have become friends with those on whom there is wrath of Allah subhanahu wa taala? Who are they? The Yahud, maghzub alehim, maghzub alehim Yahud, and these munafiks, they had friendship with the Yahud. They are, in some cases, working agents to Yahud. Alam tera ila ladina tawalla qawman ghazib Allah wale. Maahum minkum wala minhum. These munafiks, these hypocrites are neither from you nor from them. They are sincere to neither you nor them. They are sincere to none. They are not sincere to Allah. They are not sincere to the messenger of Allah. How can they be sincere to, to the Jews? But you know, they are after their own gains. Wa yahlifuna ala al-kazib. And they take oaths on something which is Not which is not true, wrong, and lie. Wahum yalamun and they do it knowingly. Add Allahu lahum azaban shadidan. Allah has prepared for them a very severe chastisement. In lahum sa ma kanu yamalun. Verily, it's very evil what they are doing. Lam tuni anhu amwalhu wala aladu min Allah shaya. Neither their riches nor their children will be of any avail for them. 
فروم اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ اولائے کا صاحب النار ہوں فیا خالدون دے آر دی ڈیولرس آف دی فائر اینڈ دے ول ریمین ان دیٹ فار ایور یوم یا مسوم اللہ جمیعن وین اللہ ول ریز دم آل فیاہل فون اللہ کما یاہل فون اللہ کم دے ول سویئر بیفور اللہ آلسو ایز دے سویئر بیفور یو و یا سبون انہم اللہ شئے اینڈ دے ول بی تھنکنگ دیٹ دے آر اپون سب تھنگ دے ہیو سم فوٹنگ اللہ The kuffar openly against Islam and Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and their agents, hypocrites among the Muslims, legally included as Muslims. Allah inna hisbah shaitani humul ka khasirun. Behold, definitely the Satan's party, they will be the losers in the long run. Inna ladina yuhad dun Allah wa rasulahu ulaika fil azaldin. Verily those who who oppose and fight Allah and his messenger, they will be among the most humiliated ones. Katab Allahu laaglebanna ana wa rusuli. Allah has decided and prescribed and written it down. Certainly I and my messengers will be victorious. This is the divine law about messengers, not about prophets. Prophets were killed also. But no messenger of Allah could be killed. We have read this in Surah Al-Safat. وَلَقَدْ سَبَقَدْ كَلِمَتُنَا لِعْبَادِنَا الْمُرْسَلِينَ إِنَّهُمْ لَهُمُ الْمَنْسُورُونَ وَإِنَّ جُنَّنَا لَهُمُ الْغَالِبُونَ This decision of ours has already passed. That those of our servants whom we appoint as our messenger, definitely they will be held. And definitely our army will be victorious. So the same thing comes over here. As I told you, important subjects are subjects. Discussed in Quran at least at two places. So Surah Safat and here it is. Katab Allahu laaghle banna ana wa rasuli. Inna Allah qawiyun aziz. Verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is powerful and mighty. And he has all the authority in his hands. La tajadu qawman yuminuna billahi wal yawmi la akhir. You will not find those people who really believe in Allah and the last day. يُعَدُّونَ مَنْ حَادَّ اللَّهِ Loving those who oppose Allah وَرَسُولَهُ and His Messenger وَلَوْ كَانُوا آبَاهُمْ Although they might be their fathers أَوْ أَبْنَاهُمْ or their sons أَوْ إِخْوَانُهُمْ or their brothers أَوْ أَشِيرَتُهُمْ or their kindred أُولَائِكَ كَتَبَ فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ إِمْعَانِ They are the people in whose hearts Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has inscribed and engraved iman. وَيَّدَهُمْ بِرُوحِ مِنْهُ And has helped them with a spirit from him. That is Jibreel. بِرُوحِ الْقُدُسِ وَيُدْخِرُهُمْ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَعْتِ الْنَذَارِ And he will make them enter and admit them in the gardens underneath which the rivers will be flowing. رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُمْ Allah will be pleased with them وَرَضُوعًا and they will be pleased with him أُولَائِكَ حِسْبُ اللَّهِ They are the party of Allah Now this is the polarization on the basis of Allah and His Messenger People who have belief in Allah and Messenger to this side Those who don't believe on the other side Even if he is your father, he is enemy of Allah You can't love him. You can't have any relation with him. Even if he is your brother. وَلَوْ كَانَ آبَاهُمْ آبَاهُمْ وَأَبْنَاهُمْ أَوْ إِخْوَانَهُمْ أَوْ أَشِيرَتَهُمْ Whosoever he might be. This polarization has to be complete so that Hezbollah it becomes absolutely pure and free. أُولَائِكَ حِزْبُ اللَّهِ Now this word Hezbo Allah appears in this surah. And also in Surah Al-Ma'idah. فَإِنَّ عِزْبَ اللَّهِ هُمُ الْغَالِبُونَ In Surah Al-Ma'idah, غَالِبُونَ 
دی پارٹی آف اللہ ول بی ڈومیننٹ ول بی وکٹوریس ول بی سپریم اینڈ ہیئر الا کا حزب اللہ اللہ انا حزب اللہ حب المفل ویری لی دی حزب اللہ دے آر گوئنگ ٹو بی دی پروسپر اینڈ سکسیس فلاح از فار دی ہیئر آفٹر اینڈ غلبہ ڈومینیشن از ان دس ورلڈ سو دیر آر ٹو پرابلم آف اللہ سبحان و تعالی ٹو دی حزب اللہ نمبر ون ان دس ورلڈ دے ول بی ہیلپ اینڈ اللہ ول گیو دم دی وکٹری فائن حزب اللہ حب الغالب دس از ان سورہ معاہدہ ان دی را دی حزب اللہ اللہ ان حزب اللہ حب المفلحون ویری لی دی پیپل ہو بلانگ ٹو دی حزب آف اللہ اونلی دے آر گوئنگ ٹو سکسیڈ Now let me, because I have two minutes, let me give you the hadith. The importance of this jama'ah. There's a hadith. Inni a'murukum bi khamsin. The Prophet said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Verily, O Muslims, I command you five things. Allahu amarani bihinna. And I'm not doing it on my own. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded me to do so. What are those five things? Bil jama'ate. Party. You must belong to a party. Was sami'i. And to listen to the leader of the party. Was ta'ate. And obeying the decisions of the party. Was jihade fi sabi'i. Was hijrah. And making hijrah in the way of Allah. Was jihade fi sabi'i Allah. And then you can make jihad fi sabillillah. Jihad fi sabillillah is essential. As we read yesterday in Surah Al-Hujrat, if there's no jihad, there's no iman. It's the necessary constituent of iman. Innamal mu'minun al-lazina amanu billahi wa rasoolihi summa lam yartabu wa jahadu bi amwalihim wa anfusim fi sabillillah. Ulaika humu sadiqoon. Verily the true Muslims are only those. who believe in Allah and His Messenger, then doubt not, and then they do jihad in the way of Allah with their belongings and their lives. This jihad, for that you need a party. This party should be a very disciplined party. Some wa ta'at, listen and obey. Wa anil harisil ash'ariya razi allahu ta'ala an, qala qala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, inni amurukum bi khamsin, allahu amarani bihinna, بالجماعت والسمع والطاعة والهجرة والجهاد في سبيل الله This hadith has been included by Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal in his musnad also Imam Tirmidhi in his jamih and this thing has gone out of our sight and out of our mind we don't feel something lacking are you involved in the struggle of Iqamat al-Din or not If, yes, with what group? Which party? If you don't like any party, existing party, go on. You can form a party of your own. All the parties today which are present, they are also, none of them is led by a Nabi. There is no Nabi. No Nabi after Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So you can have the, you are also not a Nabi. Okay, go ahead. And you can have a party. But without party, لا اسلام الا بالجماع this is the saying of حضرت عمر رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ and the saying of a messenger of a companion of the messenger is also called hadith this is hadith and no less a companion than عمر رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ the second top most sahabi لا اسلام الا بالجماع ولا جماع الا بالامارة ولا امارة الا بالسماع ولا سماع الا بالطاع No Islam without Jama'ah. No Jama'ah without Amir, Imara. No use of having an Amir without listening to him. And no use of listening to him if you are not obeying him. May Allah give us the right guidance and give us the correct understanding of our duties as Muslims. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Azim wa nafani wa iyaakum bil ayati wa zikil hakim.